Welcome to the Hillrom Welch Allen RetinaView 700 Video User's Guide. Preparing the patient. Before administering the exam, patients should sit in the exam room with the lights dimmed for five minutes to allow their pupils to dilate naturally. Let them feel the face cup. The face cup is soft and flexible for maximum patient comfort. Patients should remove eyeglasses. However, contacts may remain in place. Direct the patient to sit up straight. It is recommended that the patient sit in a stiff back chair. Instruct the patient to look forward and hold their head still. Be sure that they keep both eyes open as wide as possible and limit blinking. Preparing the imager to acquire an image. Turn the imager on. After boot up, you will be presented with the patient list screen. Select your patient. Confirm the patient information. Touch Exam. If desired, touch on the tutorial to get a refresher on the proper technique to acquire an image. To acquire an image, touch the Start Exam button. You are now ready to acquire an image. Positioning yourself to acquire an image. To begin, Position yourself in front of the patient. Hold the imager with the screen facing you. Be sure to grip the imager firmly and in a position that allows your thumb to reach the touch screen. Place one foot in front of you close to the patient. This will allow you to move the imager toward the patient's face in a controlled and stable manner. Hold the imager two to four inches directly in front of the patient's eyes. Brace your arms against your body to help keep the imager steady. Once you are in a comfortable, stable position, move your body toward the patient to place the face cup securely on the patient's face. It is important to keep the imager straight and level in front of the patient's face. Do not tilt the imager up or down. Acquiring an image While moving toward the patient, Align the patient's pupil to the yellow alignment circle using the live video screen. If the pupil is located above or below the yellow circle, pull the imager slightly away from the patient and realign the pupil to the yellow circle. If the yellow circle is located to the left or right of the pupil, touch the left or right arrows to align the yellow circle to the pupil. The patient will see green and yellow dots in the shape of a plus sign. Confirm the patient can see the entire plus sign and tell the patient the plus sign will transition into a green dot. Ask the patient to follow the green dot. Use your thumb to touch start and hold the imager steady while keeping it pressed securely on the patient's face. Direct the patient to hold steady until the image is captured. Once the image is captured, the imager will automatically move to the left eye. During transition, you can either leave the imager on the patient's face or remove it from their face while the imager transitions to the left eye. Repeat the steps to align the pupil to the yellow circle and capture an image of the left retina. Once both images have been captured, the acquired images will be displayed on the post-acquisition screen. For each image, there is a quality assessment. The quality assessment indicates the likelihood that the image is interpretable by an eye care professional. The following is the assessment scale. Green, high likelihood of interpretation by an eye care specialist. Yellow, medium likelihood of interpretation. Red, low likelihood of interpretation. It is possible to take a second image by clicking on the plus image icon on the screen. That will bring you to the start screen to repeat the image acquisition sequence. Saving or submitting images. To save or submit the images, proceed to the exam summary screen and select Submit 